In the conceptual phase of a project, the ability to create multiple layouts is very important and time consuming. With SiteOps, we're going to solve that problem. You can come in and create parking lots, single family parcels, roadways, and other areas to catch the miscellaneous. Let's go in and create a parking lot. It's a parametric parking lot that knows my parking requirements, my grading requirements, my material type. In the upper right hand corner is the layout. This solver will then look at the parameters for the area and create what you're asking it to. In this case, it was a parking lot, 228 spaces. Let's bring in a building. If I click on the building on the right, the properties are different because it's a building, not a parking lot. But when I move it into the parking lot, the pieces interact. SiteOps understands the hierarchy of site design objects. For example, we do not park typically in the storefront of a building. But I do have the ability to come in and control the model. It is nothing more than that. It is a model that I have control of. Let's add some parking and sidewalk to the front of this building. Something that would take a few minutes can be done in seconds. We don't need all that extra parking. Let's move it around. With the ability to be able to create designs quickly and look at multiple options, we're able to deliver clients better results. Let's look how to do a roadway. You need to merely pick your starting and beginning point. On the northwest, we're going to tie into the existing roadway. Once we identified the path of the road, we need to go in and apply a cross section template. This is where you can give it a name and also save this for future use. Typically, a lot of municipalities like to use the same road templates multiple times. Are we crowning or inverting crowning this road? Do we have curb and gutter? How are we going to deal with sidewalks, ditching? All these things that can be determined and put onto that cross section. Let's give it a the points are radius so we can make the fire marshal happy and that quick I'm able to create a roadway. Fast forward a few minutes and we're going to see a more complex roadway, divided road and then one road with a median. To do a building you can either import your own design from an architect or a CAD file. Spatial templates are where you can create objects and areas and save them for later use. In this case we have an office building as a sidewalk on the northeast and another sidewalk on the southwest. Let's use this building to help define how we're going to create parking. We're going to use some tools to, as for guides, chain around the outer limits, close it, go over to the right, turn it into an area, and then I'm going to tell it it needs to be a parking area. Hit the solver button, and now I have a parking. Now the parking's still not the way I want it. Again, it's a model. You have the ability to configure it. Let's go along the building. We don't want any parking. Parking spaces are getting close, but still not the way I typically see something. So let's use the chain sides tool. I'm going to chain a path and I'm going to offset it. And now I'm going to use that line as a guideline so that I can put an arc through my parking lot. Go to my parking lot, take my directional path. Use that line to draw over the top of the other one. Put a radius on that middle point. And something that would take hours to design, we did in just a few moments. So here's what a site would look like. We spent about 30 minutes working on it. Parking lots, roadways, drives. Site ops can also do residential. So let's look how to create a, a simple little residential project. We're going to outline the area that I want to use the residential parceling standards for. Create an area. Tell it that it is parceling. And I'm going to apply a parceling template. Just like with the roadways, templates can be saved. So we're going to bring in a Charlotte R2 zoning. And once I bring that in, I can simply apply it to that area. And now I need some level of ingress and egress. First off, I want to put a little buffer along that roadway. Let's offset that 159 feet to the center line of my road, and then I'm going to do 318 to the next center line. Go along the outer edge. So what I'm doing is making a framework of the center line for the roadway. Now I'm going to do a simple fillet and trim to clean this up. Give it a radius for the fire marshal. Let's 
trim it so that it ties in the existing road that was already drawn. And now I need to basically turn this in to a type of path called car drive. Hit the solver, and my lots are drawn for me. Now you'll see in the upper north west corner there's some lots that I probably don't want. I want to get rid of lots in that area. You have the ability to go in and start manipulating individual lots and individual sections to give you that control. So I'm going to tell that area I don't want any parcels at all. And they disappear. So quickly we're able to come in and create a subdivision. So again, something that can take hours, we can do it in just a few moments. Add another roadway, the design will shift based upon that new requirement. And this is where SiteOps gives you power, it gives you the ability to quickly look at alternatives, maybe a park with multifamily and a fire station. SiteOps is going to deliver projects in a fraction of the amount of time.